If you want to find out more about nature, spring is the perfect time to do that because flowers are in bloom and animals are coming out of hiding. This year we've had a really bizarre spring, which is why I've decided to create this video in May so you can see what's going on in the UK right now in terms of nature. I hope you'll enjoy it. For fun So you call me Obu when it's Hello everyone. Welcome to Ellie in the Air. Today I come to you from this incredible stunning bluebell wood. If you're unfamiliar with the kinds of things you should be looking for in spring if you want to get more in touch with nature and see spring happen, today I'm going to show you a few things that I happen to notice in May which are a sure sign of spring and things that perhaps you can only see in May or things that May brings that you haven't been able to see in a few months. Bluebells come out around this time every year and I am so excited to be showing you this one today. You can see just the very muted colour, blue and purple, shining behind me. I am truly in awe. Perfection. Bluebells are particularly magical to me. There is lots of folklore to do with bluebells that when they come through, come through the ground and they sort of awaken and they bloom, they arouse fairies. It's a very English folklore. So the idea is that the fairies will meet at the bluebell wood in spring. This time last year, most of these bluebells that you see behind me had already died. They had already lived their life. They have a very short lifespan, about a month, and then they reseed for the following year. This year we've had a particularly cold May and April and so they're still lingering even though we are more than midway through May. I think bluebells are just so lovely to see. It's so rare but there's plenty of places in the UK you can go and see bluebells. As I was standing admiring the flowers, I was lucky enough to be visited by this group of rosa. As you can see, I was a bit surprised by this one here who came rushing towards me. They are very familiar to me. This is their home. This is their very regular woods. So I suppose it wasn't that much of a surprise to see them, but very joyful nonetheless to be so close to them and look at them in such detail. plant is called hogweed. It always appears in spring and it's one that my dad always points out to us. Hogweed has in fact become a little bit of an inside family joke. <laughs> in this little clump of grass here, if you look very closely, you can see something called ground ivy. So you can see it here. It's got these beautiful purpley blue flowers. In fact, they do somewhat resemble the bluebell, which is quite interesting. But you can see on the leaves how they do kind of resemble ivy too. If you look very carefully under the white leaves of a white dead nettle, you can see these little black seeds, which is something that my dad tr consistently tries to convince me are the shoes of some nice little fairies. That's why they keep their shoes. So, you know, if you do have kids, um, come and take them to look at the very cute fairy shoes that you can see there. 
By this time in the year, most of the blossom has already gone away, but if you're lucky, as it has been such a cold spring this year, you should, like me, be able to find a couple of trees which are half leaves, half blossom. I appreciate that that was somewhat poorly filmed on my part, having a lack of good camera. But that was a skylark, one of my favourite signs of spring and summer. I don't know what these are, but they are just beautiful, especially alongside these little pink flowers. Although this isn't such a wild and natural side of the countryside, I do think that farming is a very interesting indicator of the seasons changing. If you wander down to Camden Market in London, at the moment you will probably very likely see these little goslings and also baby coots and moorhens. They're much more grown than this now but they are still there with their families and by the nest so you can definitely still go and see them. They're so adorable. But of course I include these because babies are a massive part of spring. Wherever you go at this time of year, you should be able to spot yourself some bees and butterflies hanging around the wildflowers. Don't ever turn away. On the last day of May, I went fishing with my dad and managed to capture this next beautiful sound on camera. I'm very proud of it. Listen for the cuckoo. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this nature vlog this week. If you want to know more about nature, I could do one of these every month I was thinking about the kind of things that are new in nature so you can see things move through the seasons. Just let me know in the comments. I will see you next time.